Watch the end of this video, it's just like broken console. Broken console. I think broken I saw smoke. Console. Broken <laughs> console. Broken <laughs> console. Broken so much. Yeah, this console. is a nightmare. Oh, <gasps> yes! It's not that David and I set out to waste a whole bunch of money on AliExpress. It just kind of happened. We were having a conversation while we were shooting, and David tells me, he's like, hey, did you know? That you can upgrade the screen on a Game Gear and make it modern. And not just a Game Gear, but even other retro consoles. And I was like, oh my god, I have wanted to do that for years. So today, we get to go through everything that we bought on some combination. I think it's AliExpress and eBay. Yep to get our hands on everything we need to upgrade the displays on my Game Gear and... Well, the Vita. Oh my well. god, you're gonna try and do both of them? Well, this is already upgraded. You upgraded this already? Yeah, this was this was the inspiration for the whole thing. You know what the real inspiration was for me? Telling you about our sponsor. Glasswire, are you worried someone else is using your Wi-Fi? Glasswire can alert you anytime a new device joins on. Use offer code Linus and get 25% off Glasswire at the link below. Holy crap, this is outstanding. Right? <laughs> I mean, I imagined what my favorite childhood games might look like on a better display, but I've never had a chance to actually experience it. I mean, this wasn't my childhood. My childhood <clears throat> was a little larger, heavier, and uh, consumed <laughs> six, <laughs> not two AA batteries per charge. So then, did you do this yourself? I did it myself. Now, what do you need to upgrade about the Vita? So I mean, I, I see you've already hacked it. So that's yeah, I know, good. that's how it always was. And so I bought it for like $80, this Vita. Oh, it is really beat up. Yeah, it's really beat up. But okay. it's like $300 for a good condition one. So I figured I should buy a beat up one and then buy the parts to fix it and upgrade it myself. And the total would be less than half of what it would cost to buy a pristine one. And it won't be authentic, like original. No! Like who cares? No, I don't care. Okay, well, let's begin then. I actually have no idea what I bought because <laughs> all I did was tell this guy hey. to get me set up and apparently I'm getting a whole new chassis. I didn't order the chassis, that came with the Battery replacement. The battery, I'm getting, I'm get. wait, battery replace. Oh my God. Are these lithium batteries? Yes. You might be able to run it for more than half an hour. What? <laughs> no, that's not the authentic experience. <laughs> no, no, I should spend hundreds of dollars a year on AA batteries. Oh, and you're not allowed to use rechargeable. No, <laughs> that's illegal. I did even back then, even though the battery life <laughs> Now, one of the biggest problems with the Game Gear is not just that the display is hot garbage. It's that the cover in front of the display, it has got to be, you talk about how this is, where did it go? You talk about how this is scuffed. This is scuffed glass. This is scuffed, I don't know. It looks less durable than acrylic. Wow. And the best part is the brightness slider. Where are you at? Here you are. If you actually crank the brightness, it's, it's like completely unusable. What? Do I even know how to play it? I, like, I can't even see what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> see, the camera can't show it, but this actually looks pretty impressive for the time. Man, that sound of collecting the apple takes me straight back to my childhood. Let's get this freaking screen replaced here. Have you looked at all into how hard it's gonna be to do this? <laughs> Adam gave me some clues. Okay. Um, it is going to be harder than I had hoped. I will say that much. Holy crap, Clean Juice GG is a USB-C charger for the Game Gear. That's so sick. This is gonna be the most tricked out Game Gear. I'm so excited. So, where's your stuff? My stuff is. Dump it, show me what you got. We're doing a haul video, David. <laughs> This Look, is... guys, there's no format for this video. This is just David and I both wanted to upgrade our old consoles and needed an excuse to spend money on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. I pitched this video because I knew this was gonna be way too hard for me to do alone. Uh, and so I want Landis' help. So basically what I got is I got a replacement front panel that has the screen included. You can buy just the screen, but like you have to put adhesive and take it. That's not you a probably real- probably have to heat it up. And exactly, like, yeah. no. I That's way beyond my skill level. I got a new battery too. Oh yeah, um, that's a good call. Because it's just like runs for like two hours. Yeah, if you're gonna be in there already anyway. Yeah. Battery technology's come a little way. Yeah. I've looked at the I fix it disassembly guide and they rate their difficulty out of five. And I've done some stuff that's two or three, and you know, that was 
a bit of a stretch, but this is a, a five when I looked at it, all the way at extremely difficult. No, we'll go, we got this, don't even worry. <laughs> Don't even trip, dog. <laughs> I'm hoping too that we can pop open the Game Boy Advance that I've already modded, but I didn't solder the brightness control wires because I don't have a soldering iron at home. So I was hoping to sneak this into here at some point. So we'll see. Well, where the hell is a Game Bit screwdriver? The Netflix show, Queen's Game Bit. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did we seriously not e wait? Hold on. Is it included? Mom? I think this is a game bit. Ooh. Yeah, I think yeah, this I is like, oh, that's okay. super kit. Okay. Nice. Shout out to I fix it. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, there we go. So this is a four and a half millimeter game bit screw. Sega, I know your hardware division can't hear me from the depths of hell where they're currently residing, but this is bad. Okay, don't do this. You've got all the screws out, right? Yep. There's only four screws, right? And you're quite certain of that? No, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> well, here's some screws. Yep. All right, you should try removing those ones. That's good. Yeah. It was a test. Yeah. He passed. <laughs> oh my God, it just, okay. Ooh. Wow. I've never seen the inside of a Game Gear before. And like, obviously not. When I was this age, I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have occurred to me to rip apart my freaking game console that was my like, most valued possession on this earth, right? But as an adult, that's the first thing I do with any <laughs> electronics. So it's just weird to me opening up something that I've never seen before. Man, I think mine's gonna be way easier than yours. Oh, you it's definitely yet? Oh yeah, you ready to see the inside of a Vita? Yeah, for sure. I've actually never seen this either. Oh, oh that ribbon cable's real short. It's actually kind of beautiful. It had a webcam and everything. It has two camera, front-facing camera too. I never had one. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I skipped many console generations. This is the last handheld I owned until really? I bought a Switch. Wow. Oh wait, no, I lied, I had a DS. Everything here is pretty self-explanatory. That's the nice thing about older electronics is everything's kind of pretty clearly laid out. So I guess I'm just going to steal these batteries and put them in my old chassis because there's no way I'm gonna use this lemon yellow chassis. This is ridiculous. What if I would actually prefer to just stick with double A's? I guess I could do that. You really prefer double A's over lithium pack? Yeah, I love double A's. Okay. I mean, I guess you and I have had this debate before. Yeah. Re Xbox versus PlayStation controller. Yeah. And I, I'm still right, and you're still David. I mean, I don't hate the planet, unlike you. Uh, I don't want wow. a whole bunch of extra e waste. Wow. <laughs> Both have drawbacks. I don't think one is necessarily fully better. Also, I need your help. I have no idea how to get that out of there. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like it's a clip-in plastic piece of some sort. Uh, what the devil are you doing here, you little ribbon cable? Oh, it's because the back is a touch touchpad. Of course it does. Okay, I don't know enough about batteries. Is it possible that like it's just in the same size, it's almost double the capacity, or are they just lying? It's got Battery tech has come a long way since this. Hey, that's pretty cool. Almost doubling the life. That's actually friggin' sweet. Is anyone feeling a two-tone vibe right now? <laughs> I don't want to look at this yellow faceplate, but I also don't feel like desoldering oh, the battery contacts yeah. from the original black ones. Two tone, two tone. Two tone. Watch the end of this video. It's just like Linus and David start with working but not perfect <laughs> consoles and end with broken consoles. That's my real expectation. <gasps> oh my god, I'm too strong. No. Did you just break something? I don't know. Can I, don't I know. see? You only broke the latch and you only broke part of it, so you're good. <laughs> Uh, no, no, you're probably good on this. You're probably good. Let me see. You know what? Screw it. No, I'm going OG chassis. High risk, high reward. I'm doing it. These springs are making it so I can't get my lithium batteries in here. So they've got to come out. Ah! All right, well, there goes your battery um, corrosion. See you later, buddy. Bye. I should be able to get this pack in now. Yep, easy. Okay, supposedly this is hot enough. I need to remove this battery contact, so we're gonna see how this goes. I don't think I'm gonna be able to transfer enough heat into the, oh, okay, never mind. That was very easy. Oh my God, this is so amazing. There's a little 3D printed block here that just acts as a filler. So you can go from this nine volt DC barrel plug to USB-C and the original red rocker stays and just goes over top of this new rocker. Ah! Should I make sure it's still working? Sure. I'll do everything but power first and then hopefully that'll be fine. Oh God. Did you hear that? No 
That sounded really bad. I think I saw smoke. <gasps> oh no. I smell it. What did I just fry? What could I possibly have just fried? Where are you coming from? Honestly, it smells strongest on the clean juice. What the crap just happened? All we did was power the clean juice GG. I always knew I was great at this. Look, I'm still making progress. <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> I suck so much. Okay, let's go. So you can see it's warmed up here, okay? And then right on the other side, this trace right here got pretty toasty. I think, I wonder if it may just be defective because I really don't think I did anything. Here's my one tech tip for the day. When you have your things disassembled, that's a good time to clean it. It's a good tech tip, David. I got one. Every indication I have right now is that this thing is just working. Now that it's shaking its sillies out a little bit, I'm going for it. Yeah, what's the worst thing that could happen? I mean, my kids could be playing with this and then the lithium batteries could ignite and I <laughs> could lose my house and my family. You guys ready? Got a fire extinguisher handy? Uh, no, <laughs> where, do, where do we find it? There should it? be, be one, one here. here. Good luck, everybody, because this really does not look like it goes on here. Oh yeah, this is very trays different. Back to the guide. <laughs> They didn't have a better take of that. <laughs> what? Should we drop the battery and go straight for the screen and then- No, no, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sold on USB-C charging it's now, pretty, okay? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I just want to celebrate the fact that I've now gone from a taking things apart device to, to a, a not working device. <laughs> I, have, I got them. Well, I mean, even in my Intel upgrade, one of the things that I was super excited about was finally fixing my PS3. Um, I didn't. <laughs> uh, update on that, it's still broken. I bought a different PS3. Not a backwards compatible one because they're too expensive. Oh no. Um, maybe I'll, I'll uh, we'll do another video I think like I've had a, this. I think I've had a horrible realization about your Game Gear. What horrible realization about my Game Gear? So, when you look here, you what? see how it says VA5. I see how it oh, says VA5. That's a different version than the one we need. Luckily, Anthony has another one here. Oh, really? And if, so maybe we're gonna upgrade Anthony's game gear. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so what, what do you need for a, to upgrade the screen of a VA5? They just don't make them. People don't care. VA5s are just and nobody wants Well, the thing is that the VA5s have the better screen already. That's the better screen? <laughs> <laughs> His is like in way better shape than mine too. This is VA5. Wow, it looks so different. Are we FUBAR? Not me. <laughs> Do we just need to like go on Facebook Marketplace like right now and like go buy a Game Gear? Like I'm on Facebook Marketplace right now. Give this trash back to Anthony. <laughs> okay. Get it out of my sight. Can I help you at least? Can we yeah, have some success today? Let's do it. I want to see something fire up before I go home today. I have eight more minutes before oh, I, I have to run into a meeting. I don't think we're gonna do okay. that. Holy sh! No way! <gasps> okay, I knew we got a Game Gear. It's the next morning. I can't believe how fast you turn this yeah, around. This is good. really great. But you got that carrying case. How much did I pay for it? Oh, I robbed the guy. What? No. No. I, I, <laughs> no it, 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 One fifty. That's okay. really good. Yeah. No, it's really good for the Game Gear plus the games yeah. plus the other things that are in there. I'll buy this off you Wait, for one fifty right now, Lana. Shut up. Oh my God! <laughs> it has do original documentation in it. That's pretty cool. Okay. It included games for one fifty. Yep. This is all Wait, is this a Japanese Sonic the Hedgehog? Sega. Oh, wait, the screen is broken, which I guess is, is the perfect candidate for a screen replacement. It's okay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so you know how we said that there were updated parts available now? Mm -hmm. Those came out four days ago. One. So it's not <laughs> your fault! <laughs> <laughs> One person has done the mod, and there's no guide for it yet. That's so wild. it's really good we didn't go that route. <laughs> we found it after we stopped filming yesterday. They have a replacement for the A4 <laughs> and A5. It's right on their website. And he's like, um, I have no explanation for this. <laughs> I was on the Game Gear subreddit and I saw the post from two days ago where someone's like, I did the mod with the new Ben Ben scream. And I was like, I've been vindicated. I'm like, like I'm okay. Honestly, <laughs> I think I'm ending up with the better one here anyway, just because of yep. the uh, 4,000 color output. David and I discussed it and I think we agree 
that we'd rather have the less efficient SOC yeah. and the higher color screen. These ones have a better screen because after a few years, Sega wanted to cut some costs. So they did a bunch of revisions, changed some components, and now on the later revisions, the screen only puts out like 512 colors, as opposed to like 5,000. I can tell I'm less nervous than yesterday because I was I spent about 20 minutes trying to get this ribbon cable to no, ava no avail, but I did it first try today. So maybe that's that's my second tech tip of this video is uh, sometimes stepping away might be the right call. Although there's one piece here that I have no clue where it goes, and I'm a little bit worried about that. <laughs> this guy right yeah. here? Yeah. Let's go. No, <laughs> I think that it's not. an outside piece. Like, where does this go? I can't see it in the, okay, the teardown either. Let me see. Jeez, this guy. Doesn't that look like an outside piece? No. Definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. I don't see it in the breakdown. Not gonna lie. You're starting to feel like it's not necessary, right? No, my. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if it's not necessary. All right, sorry, I've lost interest. <laughs> I really, I really want this Game Gear screen on here. Nah, I believe in you. Oh my god! I've been trying to figure out why this is so thick, why it's on a shock mount. It has a CFL back, it has a tube! Well, it's no wonder the longevity of these is not great. Yeah! And no wonder this thing had to be so thick. Yeah. That's why the Game Boy didn't have a backlight! Yep, because it would have had to like... Because we didn't have power efficient compact LEDs yet. Obviously, for anyone who's studied the history of handheld gaming or display technology, you're, you're like, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but it's just the kind of thing I never thought about. Like, why did the backlight in my childhood handheld console suck? This is amazing. Hold on, I want to get this out. Adam, make sure that I don't break anything. Oh God, uh, well, uh, the, stop? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, Check it out. <gasps> It's a giant freaking CFL tube. Like in the ceiling of your office building or warehouse. Well, in the context of a handheld gaming system, That's I'd like to see you fit one cool. in there. Nope, no. <laughs> That's so cool. And then it's got this giant plastic diffusion layer. This is amazing. The whole motherboard has to come out. That's so cool. That's not adjusting the brightness. Maybe I need a game. Smell something? Is that just me? Yeah, that's just the heat it. from the CFL. Oh my gosh, you can see it. Yeah, and the diffusion sucks. sucks. It's that's... just like bright down the middle now, sort yeah, of. It's... Okay, I gotta run to my meeting. Okay, well, yeah, while he's good. away, I might <laughs> put it together without that little uh, metal piece and see if I break it. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't know how to solder and I don't need a hot thing right beside me. Other than this hot thing right beside oh! me. Oh! Oh! You did it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not a moron. <laughs> Take that, Dad! The issue is that I have Linus. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. So no, get it out, get no, it out, get it out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> did you ever find where that piece went? Yeah, for sure, uh-huh. Yeah, it goes right there in the parts tray. Yeah, see, it's not here, so where could it possibly be? Except inside the Vita. You're full of you totally just threw it away, didn't you? I did not throw it away. He ate it. Adam took out my motherboard, uh, which, holy bananas. Well, wait, how do we even attach this to the that? Oh my God, do I have to solder a ribbon cable like this? Oh, no, you don't have to solder a ribbon cable. You have to solder wires. How many? I think like 10. Eight, like eight or nine, yeah. Ah, oh, Oh, that's not even, you're looking at other stuff. You what? gotta solder onto this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. This is a pretty advanced tier mod. Um, Luckily we have, I've, I've called in the cavalry. This is Dan. You hey. don't know him, but he's off probation now. He's awesome. I like Dan. Oh, thanks guys. Do we have the uh, uh, hot air station? Uh, I'll go grab it if you need it. Yeah. <gasps> this is very bad. What I just did is extremely bad. It's recoverable, <laughs> but it's really bad. It pulled the pads off. Okay, where do I need to solder to? It's on the left side, it looks like. Fortunately, this um, doesn't consume the whole pad, but the pads are now one quarter the size. It took him 10 seconds. Do, do, do you mind if I have a look, see what you did? No, no, I'm good. Uh oh. <laughs> But it's damn good. I just need the hot air station. Okay, let's get that going. Yep, this is definitely better. What I'm doing right now. 
See how it leaves like the pad behind instead of ripping it away? Yep, that's good. Okay, while he's doing that, I want to show you guys how much better Alex, what this new bad boy is. Oh. It looks like a brand new Vita. That's amazing. And that wasn't that hard. It was hard. Like this is slightly above what my skill level is, but being next to you gave me the confidence I needed to make this happen. I'm gonna play a game. Which is really amazing considering the state of my project right now. Well, I assumed that this was gonna be way easier because it's older tech. Like you, I just thought it'd be like, remove a couple ribbon cables, slide a new thing in. <laughs> yeah. May I have a look? Oh, like that. Yeah, you can look. Oh yeah, those are pretty small, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so I have a solution for that. We have these guys, which are very, very small. Oh, so beautiful. we cut the ends off of those. Yeah. And then, or we could just go directly on with the... Yeah, I would just go directly on. Okay, sure. Stick it in. There you go. Wiggle it around a bit. And in case you screw oh. up even more, we have this solder mask. In case I screw up even more? Yeah. Okay, what is it about people who just get off their probation around here and just like... What's well, delivering all the sick burns? It's because it's three months of buildup. They've been yeah. thinking about it since day one. You say that as though you speak from experience. No, I'm trying to break the break the cycle. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be positive. Shut up. I just wanted to say how proud we are of you. This is not going to be easy. That's why I got Dan to do it. Yeah, I'm working really hard right now. All right, I want the Dan review. I'm going to lose my is job. That adequate? That's actually pretty good. Thank you. So we've got 40 more of those to do. Yeah! <laughs> it's not 40. No, it's like 10. Well, looks like the Vita charges, which is nice. Okay, all right, Mr. G David Glotier okay. over here. <laughs> all right, let's have a look at this. Oh, don't just do that. What did you, stop, stop. Oh my God, see this pad's lifted off the board. Oh no. Stop, stop. Oh God. Stop moving it. Wait, stop, you're still moving it. I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, I mean, that's pad eight. Ah! So if we get everything wired up and put it all together, what's the risk of it totally destroying? Oh, like, like 10 it. out of 10, it's gonna happen. It's gonna like happen. Like immediately, so like we have to fix that. It'll probably explode if these are wrong because the picture is different than the numbers. These are really, really tight. I don't know if these wires are small enough, man. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's wrong. So I basically have to just undo all of this. No, just put another one in. Oh yeah, oh, that green one is so good. Okay, man, I'm getting like way better at this as I go. Yeah, I have to go, okay, bye. Okay, bye Linus. Let's see if we can get this done. Dan. Yes. This is not what we discussed. <laughs> I know, I know. The wires are the wrong size. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did discuss that. Yeah, yeah, you really screwed that up. I mean, I, I really screwed that up, sorry. <laughs> um, what I did discover is that this board is kind of slightly different than every other dual ASIC board. Mm -hmm, yes. So you see this little guy here? Yeah. I didn't put that in, and whoever we bought it from didn't put it in. Right. So oh, that was added by hand. That was added by hand in the factory from new. What? So in all of the tutorials and all of the schematics and every other picture of the dual ASIC board that I've found, there's these big brass circles on all of the boards. Uh -huh. If you see on that one over there, there's a big brass circle. And that's oh. always mirrored on the dual ASIC variety as well. Uh -huh. So this is your single ASIC, right? Yeah. And this one has two. So. Basically, we could have gone through everything yesterday and we still would have had the same issue because there's some components missing right here. Oh. And there's some components missing over here and over here. Because? Because what we discovered is that this, I think, is one of the first 300 units produced. We can't identify what the manufacturing is. The first digit is the Z, which is the manufacturing location of the Game Gear. The second digit is the year, 2, 1992. And then the third place is the model run of that manufacturing facility. So we have a first edition run and it's model number 318. So it's the 318 Game Gear that came off the line. Hold on, this says 1990 on it. Hmm, well, I don't know then. That's very early. No, that's earlier than 92, remember? That's a couple years, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to check that later. So anyway, yeah, this is the clock signal from the microprocessor, which is that chip next to your thumb. <laughs> and there's, in the later schematics, there's a capacitor that goes to ground, which is what that's doing. You see, it's tied into the little negative yeah. post of that capacitor there. Oh, amazing. So this wire that was supposed to go from here to the clock source, because this, this is a little uh, crystal oscillator, yeah. 34 megahertz. If you flip it over, um, I had to run a cable from the backside, oh, and it took me hours to figure that out. Oh, cool. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I used some of those small wires to tie into the yeah. video chip there. What are the odds this is gonna work, man? I, 
My confidence in Dan is very high. I believe in you, yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan's pretty much a wizard. My one question is, that is that orange wire supposed to not be touching anything? Oh, good God, okay. I'm really good at finding problems. I'm not great at providing oh, solutions. <laughs> so where is it supposed to go? Oh, it's I see it. It's supposed to go on pin 16. Yeah, this is a nightmare. If you're gonna do this at home, <laughs> make sure you don't have a vintage board that's different than every other board on the market. And get the right size wire, and uh, don't do it on camera, and don't do it in front of your boss. And I can't even keep track of which Game Gear is which anymore, so where does this go now? That, oh, I don't know. That's well, the front, the front of it. right? You're yeah. the one that took it apart. Yeah, what? I guess so. Oh, now there's buttons everywhere. Uh, oh my god. Uh -oh. Um, oh, you took it away. <laughs> Sorry, these screws are for the Game Boy. Game Boy. Oh my oh. god. Is this? Is, this, is this like what you're supposed to do? Like you just I, 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 I literally do not know. Ah! I think this might be glass. Like, look at it compared to this. Well, yeah, that bubble. That's what an acrylic one looks like. Should we scratch test it? Yeah. <laughs> and I tried to scratch it with my nail, which I would be able to do with acrylic, and I was not okay, able yeah, to. Okay, yeah, that's true. This has been such an adventure. Like, it really honestly, has. most fun I've had in a while making a video. I'm really glad that it wasn't quite as cut and dry as just plopping a screen. I mean, I could have dealt with a little less <laughs> excitement than this. And I'm really stressed out about that weird power module that smoked at some point in this process. Yes, yeah, we might just maybe forego putting it in. Yeah, don't put that in. Don't put it in. Don't put it we in. We don't have, we don't trust it. You sure? Because it seems to work. If it also <laughs> catches on fire and smokes, and Let's gets say, really hot. When we tested it, it worked once. It did? And then the it second time, it made the smell. We can go AA batteries. That's you want to put the original back on? Yeah, I can put the original back on. Did it burn a different trace? No, it just burned this one more. Yeah, this thing is clearly defective. Did you did you finish your Game Boy? Dan did. Oh my <laughs> he helped me solder it. Uh, although you did screw in the motherboard, Dan. So it was just floating. Oh, is that what those extra screws are for? Yeah, it's okay. So now I can control the brightness, which is nice. Those are on. Moment of truthiness. <sighs> I'm gonna blow all the air out of my lungs so that if it burns, I get at least that out of the $100 I spent on this Game Gear, plus whatever other components have been destroyed. No, I got a good feeling. Is that I... why you're standing way over there? Yeah, definitely. And it might also be the fact that it's uh, My hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Nothing, don't even worry. Is it a problem that this thing looks like it needs to go down on this pad? Nope, those will be okay. <gasps> oh, yes! Damn, Make sure you did get it. That sound. Yeah, there it is. This is so awesome. My hands are shaking right now. Oh Volume gosh. control still works. Volume okay. control. Does brightness control work? Yes, I made sure of that as well. <gasps> it totally does! You should also have custom scaling models too, and you should be able to have uh, scan lines or not if you want. And so this is what's interesting about this screen, and it uses the uh, crystal oscillator. Yeah. So it's gonna be lockstep exactly with the hardware. So no tearing. No tearing, no missed frames, no, no nothing, lag. Wow, no input wow. lag. It uses the same clock source that the microprocessor uses. So after three days, we still have one working game gear. There's definitely one small issue. Something is interfering. Ah, yes. Nope, I was right, Dan, and you were wrong. You do need to move it. We do need to deal with this because it's, it, 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 there's just these wires are so thick. Oh. And it's, it's making it so that the game slot is crooked. It's okay. It's lifting this part off. Okay, so I just need to reroute these wires. Yeah, Ooh. there should be long enough that you can rewire out. Uh, hold on, I'm like... gonna power it off. One sec. <laughs> Good choice. Okay, I think I found a new way to route this wire that's a little better. And I think I got this now. And that's done <gasps> it. Wait. Okay. Holy crap. Are we good? Yeah. So I didn't destroy well, hold on. it. I want to see. I want to see it actually do yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy bananas. Okay, we're getting there. It is actually closed. That nice is job. So much better. No, you nice job. We I did didn't it. Anything. It's too crisp. It's too good. Well, you can make it worse if you hold start and push up and down. Now like now? Yeah. You can do a whole bunch of different settings. Wait, what so just happened? There's scaling settings. Whoa! You can add scan, scan line lines. Things. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's an amazing little product. I think I like the clean look. Look at this, I can actually see what I'm doing. No perceived additional latency, I can tell you that much. I mean, I'm still, you know, not perfect at the 
game, but... Okay, which one? This one? Sonic 2. Okay. Sonic you ready? Sonic. Look at that difference. Dang. I'm a little bit sad about the dings on the glass. But... I mean, oh, I, I'm not even going to notice them when I'm gaming. I can actually see what the frick I'm doing. I am so stoked. Look, look, at, the, uh, look at the refresh latency on the old one compared to, you know? Freaking amazing. I don't think I could possibly be happier with this result. No, it's pretty incredible. Fantastic. Oops, I've been pressing the Oh button. no, I found a mining cart. Okay, um, yeah, I think I found the exact same mine cart at the exact same time. Careful, there's Have a... Have you managed to beat the first level yet? No. This was so much fun and so worth it. Shout out to Dan. Just like this shout out to our sponsor. Manscaped. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help you take care down there. While you're down there trimming, Manscaped and the Testicular Cancer Society want to remind you to check yourself for testicular cancer with easy, once a month, routine, at home self health checks. This year, for a limited time, you can get their new special edition TCS Lawnmower 4.0 electric and waterproof trimmer. There are only 10,000 units in existence. And with this launch, Manscaped will be donating 50 grand to the Testicular Cancer Society to help those impacted by testicular cancer. Head to manscaped.com slash TCS to grab yours. And as always, use code tech at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out the one where we did some very, very small scale soldering to fix a CPU that had the pins sheared off. That was a fun one.